everybody. Um, it's going to be an interesting video. Uh, it's about two weeks short of two years since we uploaded our first ever video to the channel. This cruise on the way to Jason's house now to get started for the evening activities. So, let's see how it goes. All right, well, we're at Jace's house, um, as I explained on the way here. Um, both of us cut our hair. Yeah. We had long hair in the other one. Anyway, um, so we're installing a new um, infotainment unit. So for all of you Mazda people that um, broke your infotainment unit or it's delaminating like this one, you know, it's got the crack and it's all, you know, effed up on there right here and all that. Well. This whole unit's bad. Um, I've been without a radio for a while now. So we're installing a whole new one, but um, the way I'm gonna do it is the sh way that's a lot shorter than what Mazda wants you to do. Because Mazda wants you to take apart the whole freaking dash. I'm not doing that. We're gonna cut here and figure out the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, so I forget how I did this. Maybe you do have to, no, I don't think you do. Okay, I think you just have to kind of get in there. Yeah. Oh, don't. Maybe we do need trim tools. Okay. I'm not professional. Don't mind the garage. It's a mess. Trim tools. Hot wheels. Yeah, the giant wall of hot wheels. Yeah. We'll, we'll get out. Yeah. So the cars that we have now um, are my ND Miata. So I, we went from a NB to an ND. Um, Jace had an NA, I think, at the last time. We had, well, we had the Del Sol, but he actually has an NB now. Both of our cars are looking minty fresh. And yeah, so we're uh, we're doing a lot better. As far as cars go. Don't worry break before. it. Oh, it won't break. Don't worry. There, just like that. Look at that. Because Mazda wants you to take off this whole panel down here. They want you to take off all this. But we are going to do this the streamlined way. Where you just pop that loose real quick. Like that. And then I'm pretty sure that this piece here can actually come loose as well right out of the gate there and then this also comes loose like that which you got wires on this side yeah, well i'm not taking it out but then that should I mean. allow this to slide out theoretically just like that that just saved us like 20 freaking minutes of install time it is now ah, all right so we got this whole new unit plugged in um just gotta shove her back in there and <laughs> like a glove you might get copyrighted for that no i don't think so i think we're fine <laughs> oh my finger yeah be mindful of fingers Ooh, she snapped right in. All right. And then we put it all back together like OEM. Boom. Just like that. How to install a new unit in a Miata. Now. Oh, I see. There you and go. And look at that. Yeah, shut that off. Just Perfect. Just like that, it is back to how it was. Have all of your touchscreen options available i don't know why it's beeping anyway so yeah that's how you install a radio into me uh, the quick way <laughs> oh we're about to go uh get some we're probably going to go to a area that's local that we know the area that we took the uh um purple yeah the purple miata and the nb we're going to go there with these and uh, get some sound clips and also probably do a walk around of each car and explain a couple things with them. Um, Cause this is Jace's NB, it's a 2003, 03. Um, and then this is a 2016 MX-5 Grand Touring. Um, 
yeah which is my newest addition um, both have a few things done to them that one's a little bit more advanced as far as modifications go than this one um, but that's okay though and we'll we'll do a little walk around and get some good info for you guys on what they are you can probably really hear Jace's car over this one it's uh she's loud so we'll, we'll see if we can hear it oh yeah So, explain. Three, NB Miata. Um, drove to almost Chicago for this. And it's got the small Tupperware kit on it. Rota Slipstreams. The hood is not the same color right now. It's actually a black cherry mica. It has the big brake kit on it. Some of the best looking wheels for this car, I think. Yeah, they're pretty nice. Paid 300 bucks for them. <laughs> Interior. Um, the seats are very ugly. In my opinion. But it will be getting bucket seats pretty soon. And a new steering wheel. That was just what came with the car. I put Apple CarPlay in there. Too bad we didn't make a video about that. But. That's okay. Hard top wrapped it yeah that's wrap it's really hard to see on video probably because well, these the these panels look so similar on video but um this is paint and this is wrap so it's it's pretty it's interesting really you can kind of see it looks like orange peel like the wrap does versus this is a little more glossy and you can see the the um, seams the seam there but it does i mean for wrap that is uh like yeah. reflective it's pretty darn pretty darn good it only took three hours yeah. Um, it has just a eBay hardtop wing with 3M and then black silicone caulk so the water doesn't get in and sit there. Um, it has full ISR exhaust and uh, Goodwin racing headers right now and a cold air intake. And that's probably about it. It has an LRB front skid plate you can see through the front bumper as well it also has an ebay lip that's okay lips are meant to be torn off so yeah i know skid plate. With my driveway yeah but yeah it's a little scuffed in person but it's not a show car it's driver's car made to be used yes. there's that fat isr yeah. stick your whole foot in the exhaust Uh, yeah, they're probably doing Brace. things in the future. Like this oh, yeah. the trans will be getting pulled. We'll make a video on that. Uh, just putting a new clutch in because it has 180,000 miles. And the throttle bearing's starting to chatter here and there. So I just want to make sure it's good for next summer. Yeah, and these, these videos are probably not going to be like super like time frame. I don't know how what the word is going to be, but they won't be like multiple days combined into something if we don't have enough content to put into one video from one day or something. Yeah, they will all be the same. Um, it's going to be pretty spread out. Yeah. Because of like our work schedules in life. Yeah. So this video is probably going to be from one day, but in the future they might be like Peace just kind of, and it might not have an exact storyline. It might just kind of follow the stuff that we do over a few days and just be like a compilation of some moments, but... Either way, oh, we got some company. company. But anyway, yeah, so this is Jace's uh, 03 NB Miata certified ripper. It is, it is. Uh, well, so this is my 2016 um, NB Miata. It's a ST, as they call them, soft top uh, grand touring model. Um, it's in reflex blue mica. Um, not not bad it's pretty pretty nice color i like it a lot it's a little bit more of a subtle blue than being crazy bright but i have a lot of plans for things to do to this in the future um there's only a couple of things done right now but you know throughout the life of the car i can add a lot more and kind of put my own taste to it I'm not going to really talk about all the plans i have right now because there's a lot but um as of right now 
Um, it's pretty much completely bone stock. Um, it's got 20% window tint um, on there. The windows aren't up right now. But um, as far as like actual modifications go, it has a set of Megan Racing springs on it. Um, so it's a little stiffer and sits nice here. Got some nice shiny orange things in there. Um, it's got a ISR axle back on it. Um, so whereas Jace's car has the full ISR cat back, this just has an ISR axle back. Um, but I think that's plenty loud enough for me at the moment. Um, it's got some splash guards from the factory. Of course, a stubby antenna. Can't have a Miata without a stubby antenna. Um, I got the custom plate, kind of like how I had BRG Yada on the, the uh, British Racing Green NB. Got blue ND on here. It's a uh, two liter, I guess I should have mentioned that. Um, whereas this has the 1.8, this has the two liter, um, as opposed to the 1.5 that was offered in Europe. Um, yeah, there's uh, lots of plans for both of these cars. And I think by Fail of the Dragon next year, we'll have them pretty well set up to handle everything that we can throw at them down there. So. We're gonna get some sound clips. Um, I'm gonna have him do like a 2000 RPM and then a 4000 RPM rev, and then we'll get some sound clips. So, uh, have it go. For the same thing for him, we're going to do a 2000 and a 4000. Seatbelt so we can be safe. Yeah, safety first. That was probably about 2000.